What to expect from a Turinibal cycle? Increased endurance, week two onwards. Within a couple of weeks of starting your T-Bowl cycle, you will notice an increased ease in your workouts. It becomes easier to recover from brutal marathon workout sessions. You are geared to go for a workout, even after your legs are decimated. You can easily train six days a week without resting. Athletes in particular find this trait highly desirable as it allows them to train unhindered for weeks prior to the competition. This is normally the first effect of T-Bowl that kicks in before anything else. Pumps, two weeks onwards. By the second week, you'll start to notice a fullness to your muscles. The pumps begin to last all day, even outside of the gym. This usually just keeps getting better to the point where it can start to get painful and debilitating for some users. Strength gains, two weeks onwards. Along with improved endurance and fast recovery, T-Ball will make your lifts easier. It will not be as dramatic a strength gain as with Dianaball or Anadrol, mind you, but you can expect to add at least 20 to 30 pounds to your compound lifts by the time you are done with your cycle. Vascularity, three weeks onwards. This is where Turinabal stands out on its own as compared to its bigger brother. It adds a certain degree of dryness and vascularity to your muscles. It's not the water-filled balloon muscles that come with Dianaball. Lean muscle mass, one week onwards. Turinabol works pretty much like other mass-gaining steroids like Dianaball, but you don't gain as much water as on Dianaball. The gains are a lot leaner and drier. Since it does not make you hoard a lot of water, it also does not skyrocket your blood pressure by a lot. Mood enhancement, one week onwards. This is one of our favorite traits of both Dianaball and Turinabol. It gives you that alpha feeling and aggression as you step into the gym also keeps your mood pumped throughout the length of your anabolic cycle.